The owner didn't want to be here when the glass was being lifted in and I think I sent her a text and said, this is pretty awesome, you have to get down here. The glass panels are something like 250 kilos each. So it was um, a few nervous moments when we were watching those being lifted into place. The first time I came here, I felt like I wasn't in Hawthorne. I felt like I was somewhere way outside the city, um, purely because of the landscape and the gum trees that were sort of scattered around the site. That was one thing that really amazed me. So the previous design didn't really resolve the entry issues where the entrance to the house is now behind us. When Back when this house was first built, it would have been in that direction where there's now a cutting. As much as we persisted with the old design, the whole process sort of started again. This was a four year undertaking um, between myself and the clients. It was quite collaborative. We went back and forth quite a bit. I suggested that we should do something fairly minimalist that doesn't clash with the old house and just try to bring the garden inside. The house was quite discreet from the front, from the new entrance. The idea wasn't to overstate anything that would clash with the period architecture and the rest of the street. So you walk down the entry, down some steps, and then into this open area that looks out onto the central courtyard. And then you sort of walk around through the link with a wall of some artwork into the meals area, the kitchen, and then this more informal lounge area. From here back, there is an archway that breaks the new house against the old and then we transition back into the period detailing. Inside we've used American oak flooring and it's got a beautiful grain and quite a nice pale colour. The walls are generally plasterboard, again just to um, keep everything sort of fairly blank and minimal and just be, let the artwork that's on the walls really be the, be the feature and um, pine lining boards on the ceiling to really accentuate the length of the house and, and give the ceiling some texture and interest. So the glass is massively oversized. The dimensions are around about two metres wide by 3.3 metres high, and they run up past the ceiling, which is three metres high. We wanted to minimise the amount of framing and maximise the views and the sort of seamless transition from inside to out as much as possible. Creative Windows worked with me from quite an early stage to work out how big the windows could be to have them functional and to be durable and really last. It's really important to have that input from um, people that actually work with the product to make sure that what's being designed is actually going to work and work well. I really like the AWS windows, they just, for a commercial window system, I think they're quite well refined and really suitable for use in a domestic application. I don't rate myself as a landscape designer at all. Um, I usually say to people if they want a terrible landscape design, get me to do it. So we went to Eckersley Garden Architecture and got them on board to come up with a design for this central courtyard and it's quite a freeform layout out there with a curved deck, a curved core steel retaining wall with plants that sort of cascade over the edge. I think that was really the perfect solution that they came up with. If I had to describe the project to someone, I'd, the first thing I would think of is probably that it was fun, I think. Like it was just a great experience. It, it was, um, yeah, just a great privilege to be involved in.